Today's evening devotional. Satan's groundwork for the final conflict. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. During the Christian dispensation, the great enemy of man's happiness has made the Sabbath of the Fourth Commandment an object of special attack. Satan says, I will work at cross purposes with God. I will empower my followers to set aside God's memorial, the seventh day Sabbath. Thus I will show the world that the day sanctified and blessed by God has been changed. That day shall not live in the minds of the people. I will obliterate the memory of it. I will place in its stead a day that does not bear the credentials of God, a day that cannot be assigned between God and his people. I will lead those who accept this day to place upon it the sanctity that God placed upon the seventh day. Through my vicegerent, I will exalt myself. The first day will be extolled, and the Protestant world will receive this spurious Sabbath as genuine. Through the non-observance of the Sabbath that God instituted, I will bring his law into contempt. The words, a sign between me and you throughout your generations, I will make to serve on the side of my Sabbath. Thus the world will become mine. I will be the ruler of the earth, the prince of the world. I will so control the minds under my power that God's Sabbath shall be a special object of contempt. A sign. I will make the observance of the seventh day a sign of disloyalty to the authorities of earth. Human laws will be made so stringent that men and women will not dare to observe the seventh day Sabbath. For fear of wanting food and clothing, they will join with the world in transgressing God's law. The earth will be holy under my dominion. The Sabbath will be the great test of loyalty, for it is the point of truth especially contract overt. When the final test shall be brought to bear upon men, then the line of distinction will be drawn between those who serve God and those who serve him not.